Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Books and Blocks on the Car uh, from the Carnegie Public Library at Washington Courthouse, Ohio. Um, this is our first week for Books and Blocks for the summer reading program. Exciting! summer reading. Um, we are excited to be offering our summer reading program this year. It looks a little bit different, but we're still offering it, of course. And even your littles, our littlest of library patrons, can participate in our summer reading program and keeping track of all the books that you're reading or activities that you're doing or story times that you are attending and uh, working your way up to getting some prizes. So, um, Go ahead and let me know if you are here by leaving me a comment and I can say hi to you. Um, again, this is Books and Blocks uh, from the Carnegie Public Library in Washington Courthouse and my name is Noelle and I'm very happy that you are joining me today. So um, we will give uh, our friends another minute or two to join us and we shall get started. I hope everyone is enjoying the very fine weather that we've been having here in Washington Courthouse. We've had some sunshine and um, some warmer weather, so to get out and enjoy that um, uh, while it is still around, right? So, um, and what are you doing? I wanna hear about what you've been doing so far this summer. Good morning, Hayden, thanks for joining. It's always nice that you, um, that you are here joining us for Books and Blocks. What have you been up to so far this summer, Hayden? What have you been doing? If you are just joining us, this is the Books and Blocks program, a program for toddlers, a story time program for toddlers, brought to you by the Carnegie Public Library at uh, Washington Courthouse, or in Washington Courthouse, Ohio. All right, so let's get started. Uh, my name is Ms. Noel, and thank you for coming to Books and Blocks. Uh, as I mentioned, we have started our summer reading program. If you are interested in participating in our summer reading program, uh, please give us a call. We will set aside a summer reading program kit for you where you can then come by and pick that up um, at curbside or we have open to the public. We are open to the general public on Mondays from 10 to 2 and Fridays from 2 to 6. Our Wednesday hours are allocated for um, the compromised uh, population. So um, wherever you fit into that uh, arrangement there, um, uh, please come visit us if you feel willing, if you're willing and feel safe. And, uh, or you can always come to curbside. I see that Hayden's been playing outside and swimming in the pool. Oh, how exciting. How exciting. I remember Vincent saying he was doing a lot of swimming in his pool um, last week. He said he was doing that, lots of swimming in the pool, which is a great way to cool off, right, when it's, when it's really hot outside. I've been doing a lot of gardening, which I want to mention to you. Our garden here at the library is blooming and growing, and it's so exciting to see the seeds um, sprout and start to come through the soil and we have beans growing um, and we have some other vegetables in the garden this year we have some tomatoes and peppers and as I mentioned green beans um, I believe we have some onions in there and um, so it's really exciting to see all those baby plants starting to come out uh, through the soil so if you are bopping around town and you want to take a look at our garden, please swing on by and help, and please, the garden is open to everyone, to browse, to just enjoy. Um, there's also an herb garden, so you can go around the herb garden and if you touch the leaves and smell your fingers or even put your face in the leaves, you can smell the herbs and they smell wonderful. So lots of different smells. You can even taste some of those. Like we have basil, we have mint. We also have um, chives and parsley that you can actually taste from our garden. So that would be something fun to do, to come to the garden at the library. And if, if um, you're visiting and you have questions about the garden or you want some information or whatever, just let us know. 
Um, hi, Grandpa. Thanks for joining from Minnesota. I'm always happy when my family members decide to uh, watch my story times. <laughs> All right. So, just wanted to give you some information about uh, our garden, um, our hours open to the public now, and then also, of course, our summer reading program. And um, just give us a call and we'll be able to explain in further detail. So, let's go ahead and get started by singing our Hello Friends song. All right. So, um, we're going to um, practice our signs to get ready. So, we'll do a soldier salute for hello so hello hello hayden hello grandpa hello and then we're gonna do um the sign for friends so we'll take one finger and another finger and have them link together or give hugs for the sign for friends and we link put that all together and we have our song hello friends all right here we go get your hello ready hello friends hello friends hello friends it's time to say hello hello friends and welcome to books and blocks this week is the first story time week for our summer reading program and the theme for this week is the land of the littles so this year's summer reading program is a fantasy theme it's everything magical and mystical and fantastical and so this week we're going to be talking about the itty bitty tiny little magical creatures in our world and in my opinion my tiny magical creatures are you my toddlers in the books and blocks program so uh, in this week, we'll be singing songs and looking at a book about the little creatures of the, of the world. So to get ready for that, we have to sing our Summer's Here song. We sang that last week, and it's to the tune of Fera Jaca. So we're going to sing, Summer's here, summer's here, yes it is, yes it is. Fun is in the air, sunshine here and there, summer's here, summer's here. All right, yes, summer is here, and I am so excited to be sharing uh, the Land of the Littles with you today. So to um, get us ready for our book, let's go ahead and do our song, Can You Hop Like a Bunny? Ready? All right, stand up. Go ahead and move your chair, move your table, move your toys, and we're gonna do Can You Hop Like a Bunny? Ready? Can you hop, hop, hop like a bunny? Can you run, run, run like a dog? Can you walk, walk, walk like an elephant? Can you jump, jump, jump like a frog? Can you swim, swim, swim like a goldfish? Can you fly, fly, fly like a bird? Can you sit right down and fold your hands and not say a single word? Shh. Are you ready for our book? I'm ready for our book. I'm excited about this book because it's a peek through picture book. That's right, you get to peek through the pages. And there's a little hole and it's exciting. So I'm excited to share this book with you today. B, a peek through picture book. And you can see right there, our little bee. That's right. Bees are, I think, one of the world's most amazing creatures. They are so important. And, and we're talking about the bumblebee here, or the honeybee rather, the honeybee. And they are so important. And, um, you can even see some of our honeybees in our garden hard at work making their magic happen with pollination so and making more <clears throat> excuse me more and more things grow so today i wanted to read to you about the bee and you can just zoom in here so you can see him there he is in his black and yellow suit bzz, bzz. Bzz. Can you make us sound like a bee? Bzz, bzz. Hi, Marshall. Thanks for coming. <laughs> That's my brother out in Minnesota, too. Okay, so here's our title page. Bee. A peek, 
I peek through picture book. I almost said peekaboo. A peekaboo. <laughs> a peek through picture book. And look at the flowers. Bees are attracted to flowers. Dawn is breaking on a brand new day, and in the meadow, poppies sway. A bee appears, striped black and gold. A wonder of nature is about to unfold. In the treetops, birds start to sing. The little Bee beats her wings. I see something else in the treetops. Look, look at the bird, and there's a little owl and a deer. And look right here, it's a little caterpillar. As she travels here and there, a gentle humming fills the air. Let's hum like the bee. and forth, to and fro, bee knows exactly where to go. Visiting flowers of every hue, she has a special job to do. Gathering nectar as she goes from every foxglove, every rose, dusty with pollen, the little bee Buzzes, buzzes, busily. Buzz. There she goes. Look at all the pollen that she's collecting along the way. <clears throat> Bee travels on from bloom to bloom, drawn in by their sweet perfume, harvesting flowers one by one. Her compass is the midday sun. So she uses the sun to help her in her work. Do you see the foxes? Yeah. <gasps> What's going on right here? I think our caterpillar is turning into a chrysalis. Look at that. We'll have to keep an eye on that caterpillar and see what happens. Among the orchards, apple trees, blossoms quiver in the breeze. Carrying pollen from place to place, bee always leaves a tiny trace. Oh, so she leaves a little bit behind. Where is our bee? Where is she? We can see her trail, huh? We can follow her pollen trail where she's been. And there she is, right there, in our peek through hole. Flowers, as far as the eye can see, too many flowers for just one bee. All of a sudden, bee is gone. She has a message to pass on. Oh, I wonder what the message is going to be. Back at the hive, B spreads the news. There's work to be done, no time to lose. Listen for their gentle humming. The word is out, the bees are coming. Oh, here they come, look at all of them. Buzzing over the dense hedge hedgerows, past the pond where wild thyme grows. Through the orchard's sweet-smelling scent, the bees travel on with calm intent. And there they go, bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. And our, our bee, she's uh, leading the way, bzzz, bzzz, bzzz. A 
As lilies grow orange in the sun, the bee must finish what they begun. Stopping at every flower they find, leaving the gift of pollen behind. Oh, that's what she was leaving behind. Pollen. That little bit she left behind. Wow, look it. The bees pass over a woodland stream. Droplets sparkle and pebbles gleam. Water trickles, bubbles, and weaves. A weeping willow trails its leaves. Here's the weeping willow with its trailing leaves. As the bees fly on through buds and burrs, a tiny miracle occurs. So many plants and flowers, you see, were given life by one small bee. That's right. Because she left that little bit of pollen behind, more and more flowers were able to grow. That one small bee helped so many, so much magic happen. And look, look at all the beautiful flowers we get to enjoy because of the bee. The magical little creature, the bee. And that was our story, B, A Peek Through Picture Book, by Brita Teckentrump. So that taught us about the bee and how important the bee is to having flowers in our world, right? And so this week in the Land of the Littles, I wanted to talk about the very important magical creature, the bee, and how important it is um, uh, and how important it is for us to have bees in our, in our world. All right, so we did a song last week that I said we were going to do, try to do every week together so we can get really good at it. Um, and that's Can You Move With Me? So I bet you are ready uh, to do that book I'm um, do that do that um, movement now, right? Are you ready to move? Are you ready to move after sitting and listening to our book? So um, go ahead and move your chair out of the way again because we're gonna move it, move it once again. Okay. And this is to um, the tune Do your ears hang low? So and it's called Can you move with me? Can you wiggle like a worm? Can you squiggle? Can you squirm? Can you flutter? Can you fly like a gentle butterfly? Can you crawl upon the ground like a beetle that is round? Can you move with me? Can you flip? Can you flop? Can you give a little hop? Can you slither like a snake? Can you give a little shake? Can you dance like a bee? who is buzzing round a tree. Can you move with me? So thank you for joining me on that one. We will practice that one every week. Um, I think that's a nice little movement uh, song that we can do together to kind of get some of our wiggles out, okay? I have one more song, actually two more songs, because we'll do one more song about fairies, and then we'll do this little light of mine. Okay, so um, this song is to the tune of Fairer Jaca, and it's called Fairies Fly. It's fairies fly, fairies fly, all around, all around. Fairies fly up high, fairies fly down low, all around, all around. All right, let's do that one more time. Usually when we have story time here at the library, I have the words up for you, right? So parents and grandparents and caregivers can read the words and kind of follow along as best they can. So um, we'll do the song again now that you've got an idea of what to expect. So again, to the tune of Fairy Jaca, we have Fairies Fly. Ready? 
Fairies fly, fairies fly, all around, all around. Fairies fly up high, fairies fly down low, all around, all around. There we go. All right, friends, we are now down to the very last song of our program. This little light of mine, we always sing this song at the end to kind of send us on our way for another week where we share our light with everyone in the world and um, share, maybe this, this week you can share your buzz, share your buzz with the world as well. All right, so grab your little light. Keep it, get it out from where you've been keeping it safe, right? All right, here we go. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Should we take it around the world? Usually I don't do these other two verses um, in our live story time version, our program, but let's go ahead and do it. Ready? Get your light. We're going to take it around the world. I'm going to take this light around the world and I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to take this light around the world and I'm going to let it shine. I'm going to take this light around the world and I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Ooh, I see that Noah has his light. Did you take it around the world, Noah? Did you take that light around the world? All right, now we're not going to let anyone blow it out. Ready? I won't let anyone it out. I'm going to let it shine. I won't let anyone it out. I'm going to let it shine. I won't let anyone it out. I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Thank you, my littles, my littles, my little friends of Books and Blocks. Thank you for joining me today for Books and Blocks Toddler Storytime here from the Carnegie Public Library in Washington Courthouse. I would love to see some of my littles. So if you're bopping around town, give a honk, give a wave, come check out our garden. Um, it is blooming with all kinds of magic happening in the dirt as new plants start to sprout up from their seeds. And there's lots of plants that you can touch and smell and even taste. So I hope you come out and enjoy that um, that we have here for you at the library. If you need anything, if you need books, um, let us know. We'll be happy to get those for you. Also, don't forget, it's summer reading program time, so sign up for that. We also have a host of virtual programs that we're doing this summer, so please tune into our website or check us out on Facebook or even our YouTube channel. Take care, and I will see you next week for the Land of the Heroes. All right. Bye.